So let's say you have a patient with acute kidney injury, and he or she isn't getting better from all of your treatments and may be progressing towards failure. At what point do you want to consider giving dialysis? Which is basically just filtering the bad stuff out of his blood artificially. In this very brief video, I just want to go over the accepted indications for urgent dialysis and some of the symptoms that patient might have if they do have one of these indications. For all of these indications, remember that the kidney isn't functioning and filtering out waste from the blood, so these waste products build up, and it's to build up these substances that cause hemostatic disturbances, leading to symptoms and possibly life-threatening complications. The mnemonic that everyone uses to remember this is A E I O U or essentially the vowels of the alphabet. A stands for acid base disturbances. Most prominently acidemia since acid builds up in your blood because the kidney isn't filtering it out. A pH level under 7.1 is the paper cutoff. Some possible symptoms include increased respiratory rate, confusion, chest pain, headaches, and weakness. You can check a patient's acid base status using a variety of methods, such as arterial blood gases, or you can look for an anion gap with a BMP. Next is E, which stands for electrolyte disturbances, most often hyperkalemia. Again, from the kidney not being able to filter this out of the blood. A K level greater than 6.5 is the paper cutoff. Some possible symptoms include muscle weakness, palpitations, and chest pain. Next is I, which stands for intoxication. Most often from methanol, ethylene glycol, lithium, or some type of aspirin. The symptom will depend on a substance, but in general, your patient won't be feeling too well. Next is O, which stands for overload of volume. So patients who have fluid overload that isn't responding to normal treatment at all. If a patient's fluid overload is responding to normal treatment, there's no need for dialysis. Some possible symptoms include leg or arm swelling, ascites, or dyspnea from fluid in the lungs. You can get a chest x-ray to look if you're suspicious. And lastly, we have U, which stands for uremia, in which urea builds up in the blood because, surprise, the kidneys aren't filtering them out of the blood. This is evident by symptoms such as pericarditis, or encephalopathy. Now, these are the accepted indications for starting acute dialysis. That doesn't mean that you should always wait for one of these to become true to initiate acute dialysis. In fact, there's a huge gray area in terms of determining at what point dialysis should be started. Should you wait until kidney failure develops, or should you prophylactically give dialysis in hopes of preventing renal failure? There really isn't a clear answer to this. So please keep in mind that different clinicians will respond to the same situation very differently. That's all folks, nice and simple. Now here are our take home points, which is, again, on indications for urgent dialysis. A stands for acid-base disturbances. E stands for electrolyte disturbances. I stands for intoxication. O stands for overload of volume. And U stands for uremia. Hope that was helpful. Thanks.